Hi, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what are your person's true intentions towards you. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 5th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 10.58 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Gemini for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If you were to find a guide to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs. Spirits and angels, please show me for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. The person's true intentions towards them. Well, of fortune and we're first at the bottom of the deck. So your person may be kind of stuck right now. Look at the two of wands right here. So this two of wands indicates them feeling indecisive, right? The intention towards you, they don't even know. <laughs> One thing they know is that they do love you. They do care about you. But that's besides the point. Because the Queen of Pentacles and the first and the Justice here, something more serious in terms of there's something else that they need to consider other than just feelings of love, right? It, it, it feels like love is not everything, that kind of thing. Love cannot conquer all, cannot con conquer, <laughs> cannot conquer all, yeah. <laughs> like love is not everything. So they're being very realistic right now. Yeah. So the intention towards you is to actually wanting to do the right thing, to do right by you, but also at the same time, they could be indecisive because there's something else that is overshadowing this connection, overshadowing their feelings towards you or feelings alone is just not good enough, right? Because justice is something it could be something legal could be because of, um, yeah, it could be something legal, it could be related to love, I mean, be related to marriage, black and white, could be related to money as well, Queen of Pentacles, um, in reverse right here, could be related to comfort, home situation, financial situation again, could be related to someone else as well, so, Especially if you know for some of you, if your person if your person has somebody else, it may not always mean that, okay? It could also indicate external factors. I f I'm sensing it's more like external factors. Internally, they know that they do care about you, they do love you, and they really want this, the chariot to move forward with you. But then, there's something that's coming in between the two of you. It could be, again, related to something legal or marriage. Uh, or it could be related to money, comfort, home, situation, job, okay? Eight of Cups, yeah. Hmm. Like, you see, love. What have love got... To, what has love got to do with it? That's what I'm seeing. So, there's no doubt... That your person has love for you and they are as sincere as they want to be. But at the same time, they try to be realistic here, right? Because the pinnacle indicates something realistic, something practical, something physical, something tangible. Now, pinnacles, hermit in reverse, the emperor in reverse. So, your person could be an Aries, could be again a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Libra, strong Virgo, can be any sign. There's something they could be planning here. Like, if I can't give Jemai Libra and Aquarius something, but I at least want to prepare them for their own independence. Like, you can do it on your own. And also... If this is something to do with work, survival, 
um, money. There's something that they want to prepare you for. So the intention is like, if things don't work out, at least, at least they have something to fall back on. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? This is very specific, and that's just for some of you. They're kind of lost right now. Yeah. There's some things that are completely out of their control with the Emperor here. Well, first. And their intention is to gain as much control as possible. But there could be a possibility where they might have to make a very serious decision. It's like, should I follow my heart or should I be realistic about this whole thing? Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. I wouldn't say that the intention is bad at all. No. You know. Let's see more. It's almost like, should I do them justice or should I do myself justice? Or do the other person justice? Like, mm. it's kind of difficult. If there's someone else, okay. If not, it's just them unsure whether they should do right by you or do right by themselves. Yeah. Because they do care about you. They do love you. Well, Fortune and we're first Seven of Wands and we've got the Queen of Wands here and we're first. Hmm. The intention is to actually want to fight for this, right? Six of Swords. Move towards Kama Water with you. But that's not easy. Because there's something coming in between the two of us. Uh, two of you. <laughs> two of us. <laughs> Queen of Wands in reverse. Your person could be a fire sign. Every such there's Leo. There's also this energy like wrong timing, wrong time, wrong place. But they need to make a decision to the Wands. And it's important. So they're kind of delaying it, yeah? The intention is to like, let me see how long I can go, how 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 long more I can delay this. Because I really can't make up my mind right now what I should do. Some of it could be related to location, migration. Not all of you, okay? It could be because of distance. It could be because of anything, but... I feel like they are external fa factors, okay? Something to do with outside things. Outsider, could be an outsider person. It could be because of location, because of money, because of a job, because of someone else, because of marriage, legal situation. It can be any of these things, but it feels more external than it is internal. Because internally, they, they do care about you, right? They do want to fight for this connection like to hang on to this connection the world is also right here hmm. it's like this decision is gonna <sighs> this decision is huge because the world is a major kind of that means it involves like starting something completely new a new chapter right very, very, it's like the chariot means like, you know, leaving everything behind and then like starting this with you. Which is something that I think they are seriously considering. I would say overall the intention is to want to start over with you, wanting success with you. But then I still see there are a lot of factors a lot of things are coming in between the two of you here, okay? Let's see more. Trust. So the intention to is to see if they could trust you, trust the situation, trust that this connection could be successful engagement yeah because either they're engaged to someone married to someone or that the intention is to be engaged to you so it's like a big thing 
pay attention to a red flag. So yeah, they could be paying attention to the red flag to see if you could be the one that they can trust fully. Trust here again. And we've got release your ex. So it could be someone that they could be considering as well besides you. This is just for some of you, okay? Don't freak out if you do know that your person doesn't have anybody else. So release your ex. The intention is to release someone to go for you and to be with you. But they want to make sure that you're worth it and that it's worth it for them to release the other person. Yep, that it is safe for them to love you. All right, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. Um, don't forget to also, not even sure if there's a bell notification button anymore. If there is, click on it. If not, subscribe. Um, somebody told me that it's hard to find the subscribe button. Can if that's the case, just click on Chelsea Love Tarot, which is my my name, my profile name. And click on it, it takes you to my profile page. And you can subscribe to my channel from there. Okay, you can hover your mouse on the screen as well. I believe there's there's my face right there. You can subscribe from there as well on the screen. I hope it appears. But anyway, take care. I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.